Hi, this is John from Chicago. Welcome to my channel. Today I have an exciting uh, build. It's a ultra light weight uh, five inch racing quad. Uh, the parts I got I ordered from my RC Mart. They include the frame, which is an iFlight Ultra Light X. It's the um, light X5 FPV racing frame that comes in at 62 grams. The motors are the RCX um, 2205 motors by uh, 2600 kV. Those are at 29.2 grams. You'll lose about 2 grams of wire, so you'd be around 27 grams per motor. Um, keep the build light. I'm using uh, a 20 millimeter um, format on the ESCs and the flight control board. It's an F4 flight control board and a 28 um, amp uh, 4 in 1 ESC. That came in at 8.1 grams. Um, for the VTX, I'm using the TBS Unified Pro and that's coming in at 6.4 grams. That's a switchable um, with OSD. Um, the channels are switchable over the OSD. And then for the camera, I'm using a micro CCD camera. This is a clone of the um, um, Runcam uh, Swift uh, Micro at 6.6 .6 grams. A little LED buzzer at 1.5 grams. And the propellers, I'm looking at uh, using the um, Gemfan Wind Dancers. They're the 5042s at about 4.4 grams each. So I'm looking at uh, when I add strap, uh, plug, battery plug, uh, I'll probably be right at uh, 230 grams dry weight. First step is to um, assemble the frame. Uh, the frame comes with the four arms. Uh, the inner uh, hole to mount the arms is slotted. So you could take out, the, slide the arm out later uh, if you break an arm without removing the stack. Um, in addition to the four arms, you have a bottom plate. The uh, center holes are countersunk, so it'll make your battery um, be able to fit on there flat without scratching or damaging the battery, which is a nice feature. Then you have a uh, plate that goes on top of the arms that will also hold your antenna. The hole goes off to the side. Uh, the front of the bottom plate has the two mounting spots for the camera, the side plates, and then you have a top plate um, that goes on. Uh, for hardware, you have um, 12 or yeah, 12, 12 meter long, 12 millimeter long screws, four of which are flat on the bottom. The flat ones go toward the center of the frame, uh, so they don't scratch the battery. The domed ones are out on the frame. Um, so first step would be to put an arm on. Uh, they would go. I sped up the video here so you could see the completion of the frame. I made two airs on putting the frame together. One, I was going to put uh, heat shrink over the arms to hold the wires in so I didn't have to run tape or zip ties over. And the second thing was um, for the strap, battery strap, to go through it, um, the arms need to be in the front continuous and the back. I did the sides and as a result the um, battery strap would go front to back so uh, which way you put the arms are important for the battery strap. Overall I'm very happy with this build. It's going to be extremely light. The frame is 60 grams and um, the dry weight of the quadcopter should end up being around uh, 230 grams dry weight. People might say that the arms are too lightweight on this. They're only four millimeters thick and seven millimeters wide, but uh, it should go through the air quite fast, and the replacement arms are four for uh, $14. Next several weeks, I should post another vi video on the completion of this build, build out and the um, first flight. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them below. Thank you for watching.